Okay, here we are back with uh, Rick Wall from the 30 Years War Quad by Decision Games, 1995. We are going to be playing the Spanish player's turn of turn two. We're going to start with the disruption removal phase. All right, starting with this unit here, we need a five or a six remove its disruption state. We roll a 5. It succeeds. This unit here, it gets a plus 1 to its die roll being adjacent to its leader. It rolls a 5. So it undisrupts. I can get it over here. Okay. Um, this unit here will also get a plus one to its die roll since it's not in an enemy zone of control. Disrupted units do not exert a zone of control. It rolls a five. Things are looking good for the Spanish player. And finally, this unit cannot be undisrupted or make an undis uh, make a check because it's adjacent to. Uh, an enemy leader or and this unit can cannot either so we will proceed to the Spanish player movement phase um, I think their center is going to also advance uh, well that's shaky isn't it their center is also going to advance uh, to engage the French center um, like I said artillery at six hexes or greater, artillery has the same chance to hit as uh, this is a partial overview of the Spanish positions after their movement phase of game turn two. Um, we're forming a continuous line. Um, the tercios are very slow moving, so it's going to take a little bit of time. To, uh, move up and fill this gap but uh, we should be all right so having finished movement we will proceed to the Spanish players combat phase all right we are going to just proceed I guess uh, on the screen right to left so this cavalry unit does not have to attack this unit, the French unit, because it uh, does not exert a zone of control. Um, so I think I'll leave things as they are at the moment with that, uh, with those guys. Um, here, we're going to attack at two to one. I'll just announce my attacks as I go. I don't think I'm going to, don't have to pre, pre-announce them, so we'll just do a two to one there. No leadership bonus. Two, at two to one is a defender disrupted. So, we'll flip that unit over, and it's not in too good a shape. The French right is slowly being eroded. All right, let's see what we got here. We got a four. He does not have to attack that unit, so two to one. Got two to one there. Uh, leadership, it's five to two, so it's still two to one. Two at two to one is gonna be a defender disrupted. I can get these units picked up. All right, let's see here. This unit, first Spanish unit, I don't know. Do we attack or not? Uh, it'd be a one-to-one. -one. I could get a disruption exchange though, and I really don't want that, so. This is gonna be a rough attack here. 
I guess we'll attack here at 1 to 2, and we'll attack here at, uh, that's 10, 3, uh, 1 to 3. Do you round off to 1 to 4? Double check here and see. I think you round, I know you round off in the defender's favor. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you round off uh, defender's favor. So, being math challenged, 10 to 3 is 3 to 1. I'm going to say it's a 1 to 4. If it's not, uh, you can correct me on that. But first of all, we're going to do the 1 to 2 here between those two units. 5. 5 is attacker disrupted. Well, that's unfortunate. Um... And then finally, I think this is, like I said, one to four. If it's not, well, uh, please let me know. Either way, the odds are, mm, the results are close to the same. We rolled a six. That's an attacker eliminated. That's very unfortunate. All right, we have the uh, first victory points of the game go to the French player. And I'll have to figure out what that is for vector points and stuff. And finally, that is it. There is no other combat on the Spanish player side. So we'll wrap up game turn two. And the next video will be the French uh, player's turn three. Starting with his disruption removal phase. I just wanted to point out real quick before I end this video that... Uh, the credits for this game are the game design was by Linda D. Mosca and um, the physical systems and graphics of the original edition were done by Redmond Simonson. The research was done by Robert C. Mosca and development was Brad E. Hessel, Linda D. Mosca. And production was Manford F. Milliken, Milken, Larry Catal Catalano, Kevin Zucker, and Linda D. Mosca. So I just wanted to uh, let you know that, that uh, these are the people who worked on the original edition of this game version. Alright, we'll be back with turn three.